from what I observed on the mare's uh, front feet, uh, she had had some uh, problems, bad problems with wall separations, it looked like to me. Uh, and she didn't have uh, adequate uh, wall to support her weight. And uh, it looked like to me that we needed to try to build in some sort of support. Uh, exactly what we did, but but her, her feet had been in bad shape. Looked like uh, maybe they had been uh, out of balance for some period of time. Initially, uh, I thought maybe we might put an egg bar shoe on her to give her a little added support. Uh, and then as we uh, progressed in the trimming and uh, preparation of her foot, looked like we might be better off using a, a heart bar shoe so we could get uh, a better weight distribution in the palmer region of her foot. That's the area that was not able to carry weight adequately. So that's uh, what we end up doing is putting a heart bar shoe on her and filling that uh, back area with uh, a Vettec silicone so we could distribute the weight clear across the back of that foot. Each time she took a step or each time she accepted weight, we could distribute the weight clear across the back of that foot so she didn't have to take the weight just on her sidewall. Her sidewall was not adequate to support that weight. So with, the, with the added support and the ability to distribute the weight across the frog as well as the sole and that part of her sidewall and heel, we could allow those walls that were beginning to separate or had already separated a chance to heal and not have to take a overburden of the weight that they had had in the past. I like this uh, VetTech product because it has it, the ability to, to support weight but it still has uh, the ability to give the horse a, a cushion somewhat. I understand that there is a discrepancy in support and a cushioning material, but I like a material like this in this particular application because I can get support as well as a little cushioning and still I, I get the benefit of, of having uh, the horse supported and the weight distribution like I want it. Uh, she's had some problems in the past and uh, with, with uh, it, the problems in the past have been that she didn't have support but now that I'm applying this support I've, I've got to be careful that I don't put too much burden on that area of her foot because I'm afraid it, I'll create a problem when I'm trying to solve one. Sometimes if you use a harder a more firm support, you get a little soreness in those areas because it it, uh, it, it is an overburden and uh, we don't want that at this time. So we're, sometimes you have to, to uh, experiment to see which one is going to work the best. But in, in my opinion, with the shoe application, that this type of, of uh, packing, the silicone, the VetTech, does the best for me in this application. When I go back, I want to see that heel supported well without any bruising in the bars and on the frog and I think with I think from my experience in using this product that that's what we will see uh, you won't see an overburden and uh, that's what I I'm very careful about it in my opinion uh, when I go back I want to see that horse well supported and see those walls beginning to grow back together and the foot beginning to uh, reaffirm itself without the separations and uh, a foot without any bruising in that area where we applied the, the silicone and I think that'll be the case. That's been my experience in the past anyway.